On our journey into life, each person carries a backpack. It's full of rules and stories. Sometimes the stories are like beautiful movies, but we've outgrown them. We used to be the star. Maybe we used to be weak-minded and powerless. Or the backpack is full of rules. Things need to be done a certain way, like the house has to be cleaned all at one time, or friends only act a certain way. Take a second and examine what's in your backpack. What are your stories? What are your rules? More importantly, do they serve you? Do they serve your purpose? Do they serve your most joyful life? You may need to release what doesn't work for you to claim your best life. I want you to hear the story I was addicted to most of my life. It actually sounds wonderful, a story of struggle and grace and triumph. I was a child full of potential, smart and sassy. I have two parents that doted on me. But for some reason, or a variety of reasons, I never felt I could tell the truth. And that need to hide my true self led to a variety of struggles. The early struggles were all about finding a way to have freedom for my parents and self-created results of really stupid actions. Later, as I got older, I impacted more people and the results of my behavior were easier to spot. Premarital pregnancy, foreclosure, public breakups, and then my purpose found me and I found freedom. I was rescued. I found helping people helped me and I no longer live in that crazy stress. I love that story. It's inspiring. But you know what? It doesn't serve me anymore. It almost makes me feel like I'm escaping something that might pull me back. But it's like a movie. There's an act one, two, and three. In every movie, there's three acts. The first act establishes the person and the world they live in. The second act is called the rising action. There's usually some sort of conflict in that act. And then the third act is the grand resolution where everything is tied up in a pretty bow. And while it sounds so nice, it's not life. It's not my life. My life is not a movie. It's a beautiful, honorable gift that I will live every day I'm given the privilege to be on this planet. I had to learn to release the story to succeed. I released the idea that some things would never happen because of my age or how much money I had. I released the story I needed to forgive someone and just enjoyed people. I release the feeling of redemption because I'm simply a person who has learned the benefits of some new tricks. I released that sad story and I claimed my best life. I surrendered the idea that I could somehow get back to that life that I gave up when I made some pretty ridiculous choices. I gave up the concept there would ever be a perfect situation or that I could have somehow changed the way people treated me. I released the need to know why things worked out for me the way they did, why the place my dad and mom chose to immigrate to had no diversity, or why I had undiagnosed ADHD until I was 22. And when I released it, I was able to claim what was real, that my time was right now, that everything that has ever happened to me has led up to this moment, that I had no control over anything, but I did have a special ability to see the beauty in every moment. Today, I claim my smile, my forgiveness, my kindness, my joy. That is when the transformation of my life truly occurred. And I need you to know, on a daily basis, I choose to release any thought or action that doesn't work for me. I release confusion. I release exhaustion. I release rejection. And in its place, I claim clarity, rest, and a love that passes all understanding. I've released my brokenness and I claim my spiritual truth that I'm here for a reason and I'm here to serve and nothing else really matters. So what movie do you need to release? And what will you claim in its place? When you surrender the story and all the junk that comes with it, a bigger dream than you have ever imagined will take root in your life. Release and claim. That's the lesson for today.